hi guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to do matte finish or brush finish onto stainless steel here onto the table you can see five different wheels and these have basically different grid size and uh, normally they use for the bench grinder for doing a matte finish normally there is a special wheel and a grinder come up but since i didn't have that so i use these wheels in my previous video i used these wheels to do the brush finish onto my coffee table and result is definitely good so i decided to make a video over that along with these i am using drill machine and variable speed angle grinder now for this particular finish a variable speed angle grinder is absolutely mandatory because we are using the wheel at lowest speed around 3000 rpm to use these wheel you need to make these adapters and they are pretty simple to make which you can also say in the video I didn't have a lathe so I go to a machinist who did this job for me. These are the adapters in which one is going to use with the grinder and the second is used with the drill machine. For the drill attachment I use M16 bolt whose half portion is turned down to 10 mm so that I can hold it into drill machine chuck. For the grinder attachment I turn down a piece of mild seal rod to the required dimension and onto both ends M10 thread have been tabbed. I also provided the design in the description section down below which you can check all these wheels having the same diameter of 6 inch and the width of the flap wheel is 40 mm while the scotch bright wheel come in two different width 25 and 50 mm in this video i'm using a 25 mm scotch bright wheel the drill machine is just an alternate for those who didn't have an angle grinder with variable speed the only downside of a drill machine is that you don't have a much better control over the tool compared to an angle grinder because the shape of the drill was designed to do the drilling work only not for these kind of grinding works and that's why i said a variable speed angle grinder is a good investment for you two things are really important to take care here first one is that while using a scotch bright wheel make sure to use with washers on both side wider the washers are better it would be during the work second for the flap wheel installation make sure that the branding side is face downward so that flapper can cut otherwise it will destroy the wheel completely for the demonstration of this video i am using a piece of 304 stainless angle and in one of my previous video i show you how to do the mirror finish and how the finish looks like with different grid size of wheels you can check the description section for this particular video now i am going to do the brush finish on to other side with all the different wheels and also with the scotch bright pad to even out the scratch pattern so let's get started so the first thing i do here is to clamp the workpiece securely to its place and uh, the work i am going to demonstrate is in sections first i'm going to even out the entire surface and the wheel i'm using is 80 grit wheel usually brush finish grit size lie between 80 to 320 grit you can definitely go higher than 320 but the scratch pattern is a lot more smoother which gives you dull gloss finish rather than a matte finish always make sure to use the eye protection while doing the grinding work since the angle has a mill scale so that's why the removal of this layer took me around five six minutes the process of getting those scratch pattern is achieved by keeping the grinder movement straight the good practice is try to move along with the grinder if the work surface is long like this if the base layer prepared well then the effect comes a lot more better 
then the factory finish i think capturing the brush finish is a bit more difficult here but at the end i have some close up for the finish so now the entire surface have even scratch pattern and from here after i am leaving six inches and perform the grinding with 120 grit on rest of the angle and keep repeating the same procedure with different grits by leaving six inches The last wheel is actually used with the help of drill machine but definitely the scratch pattern didn't come up even. But to even them out I use a piece of scotch bright pad and uh, this works very well with WD-40 over the surface. One thing you can also do is to do this scrubbing pad over each grid size. The reason for doing that is to even out the scratch pattern and this rubbing process of scotch bright pad makes it look much more professional. If you are going to compare 80, 120 and 150 grit finish then you hardly able to find any noticeable difference and that is because the roughness RMS value didn't have too much difference. But if you are going to compare the roughness value of 80 grit with 320 grit then the roughness value varies a lot and that difference is highly noticeable in the finish also. By doing these kinds of demo operation you can have a test sample that what kind of finish you want onto your workpiece. For this next demonstration I am going to do this onto a piece of box pipe. The pipe have a mitre joint. No sé que tu ves en mi, mi amor. Ya no dejes de mirarme. Yeah, me gusta quien soy Contigo me siento en control Eres el balance en este mundo poco humor Se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones Esas madrugadas que hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico que quiero And uh, I'm using a squash bright wheel over 120 grit scratch marks to give the joint a mitre look I use a piece of aluminium tape and apply it onto the half of the joint and complete the grinding with the scotch bright wheel later on repeat the step onto the other half side it would be good if you use a thin stainless steel sheet so that wheel can go above that and gives you a much precise finish I didn't have a thin stainless sheet at the moment so I use this aluminium tape and the result is in front of you. So that's pretty much all about this video guys and I hope this video convinced you to achieve the brush finish with a regular grinder and a drill machine with just an adapter and if you like the video then hit the like button if new to the channel consider subscribing. Till then goodbye have a safe making.